what you see here is a list of dates that have been predicted to be the end of the world. From various Christians to astronomers to just plain crazy people, people have predicted the end of the world hundreds and hundreds of times, and for all of them, the world has still continued to spin. And now we come to the big one. December 21st, 2012. This was the big one. The Mayan calendar ended on this date, meaning that this was the end of the world. Planet X was in the sky, and we were going to be hit by a massive solar flare. The date came and went, and the human population is still breathing. You'd think after that, people would just shrug it off and just go on their normal days. Nope. It seems that the Mayan calendar has predicted the world is going to end in 2015, which seems pretty odd considering it looked fine in the Back to the Future film. This seems to be a common thread with doomsday theorists. They believe that just because one of their predictions is wrong, they can rewrite what they say and make a new date. It seems that 2012 was the only closest time that all the theorists could agree on, and when that didn't happen, then the idea to make 2012 a movie became the dumbest idea in history. But I've had this question in my mind. Why do people constantly try to predict the end of the world? What do they plan to accomplish from it? Sure, they'll be able to say that they were right before they're killed in a horrible way, but that's pretty much about it. Is it to prepare? Well, if it's the end of the world, then billions of people will be killed, and the only people who might survive are the people who could afford protection or the downright lucky. And even after the big apocalypse, we have to go through the after effects, which will mean that we might not have clean food or water, which means that the population will slowly die out of either starvation, dehydration, or anything. And why waste your time trying to predict when the world will end? It may end tomorrow, or in a year's time, or even ten years, or a hundred, or even a thousand, or maybe even a million. The world will end in time, not because someone says it will. So does that mean we should all cow in fear until the end of the world? Not really. If the world does end and we're all still alive, there's nothing we can do about it. We had a good run. What we can do now, though, is enjoy what we have today. So go and be with your family. Go and have a drink with your friends or cuddle up to someone that you truly love. Enjoy life as you have it now. Because a person who lives in fear has never lived at all. So, nothing truly happened on December 21st, 2012. Except the portal to the digital world opening and I got a Pac-Man flying across my room. Bloody hell, it was quite surprising.